this is uh, the fifth chapter of my project called Butterflies, which is a project about mental illness and psychiatry worldwide. Uh, my first chapter was shot in Africa, my second chapter was shot in uh, Kosovo, my third chapter in Bosnia, and my fourth one in Indonesia, and the fifth one, which is the one I'm showing in Padova, is, uh, was shot in the Philippines. And it was shot from 2016 to 2018, and it's a project that is aiming to show uh, first the condition of the mentally ill, their human rights abuses and the situation where uh, of the, the therapist and the, the relationship of the, of the mentally ill to society. Uh, how long uh, you've been there for this fifth chapter? I was there twice, for first time for two months and a half, second time for two months. Most of the pictures in this exhibition are part from, are from the first trip, but there's one or two which is a uh, part of the second trip. Yeah. No, no particular image that I, that I like more than uh, the others. They, for me, they, they are part of a uh, uh, sentence. Uh, this one uh, maybe is an interesting one because you can uh, talk about a phenomenon in the Philippines which is quite important. It's the, uh, the affection of the patients with each other. Uh, the, um, a lot of these places are a lot like prisons and people are locked there for a long, long time and uh, patients uh, get really close to each other and, and, uh, and start um, trying to get the affection uh, that um, they don't get from their society or their doctors or their therapists, they get it from each other. Uh, this particular image is of, of two men. For some reason some people think they are girls but it's, it's two men comforting each other and after I took this picture there's a, a very angry uh, psychiatrist who asked me to to uh, explain why I took this picture because uh, homosexuality is a mental illness according to him and and it's something that you have to cure and uh, they, they don't allow it in their hospital and they don't want me to show their hospital uh, promoting homosexuality then my answer to them was that I don't I didn't know I was not sure it was even actual homosexuality. I think it was just affection. That even men, when they are locked for a long time, they can be uh, tender with each other. And there was no way for me to know if it's homosexuality. But even if it was homosexuality, for me, it was a, a certain freedom. I found it a, a really violent thing because more than locking people up, they are also don't they also don't want them to have some kind of an affection. Um, because men and women of course are not together so the only affection women can get is from other women and men from other men. After the conversation became a little bit tense and they told me uh, one hour later that I have to go from the area which for me was a big surprise because before that I had photographed people who were chained, people who have their food stolen. And it seemed more normal that situation down this yes, front. Yes, but uh, we are dealing with a quite a strong Catholic country and uh, the, the topic of homosexuality is a big problem. Uh, but uh, I would have thought that maybe in the psychiatry they would have had a, a little bit more evolved mindset, but it was not the case, so I was I was kicked out, unfortunately, and it, it was... Uh, I was quite angry about it because there were a lot of other patients that I, I wanted to shoot and it, and, uh, and then later on in the trip, when I took other pictures like that, because it's something you can see a lot, I was always making sure that there was no one looking at me, and, uh, and uh, so, so uh, because I realized that you can shoot chaining or violence, but you cannot shoot uh, this uh, action, which seems quite harmless to me.